takes it on his head over to the right corner of the penalty area. Up against Zabani, who has his hands behind his back, strikes Zabani on the shin. Oh, Lewis Cook slipped inside his penalty area, and Bobby Bicot over Reed takes advantage of the error. Fires it in low to the bottom left hand corner to give Fulham the lead with their first sight of goal. <laughs> 30 yards out now to the left hand side of Willian, just outside the penalty area. Cherry still have it. Uh, sorry, Fulham still have it. Long ball from Willian towards the back post. Not it down into the six yard box and put in for two at the near post by Rodrigo Muniz. And again, Andoni Raola will look at that and say that's got to be too simple. Whipped in by Tavernier, all the way around the back where it's headed back across the face of goal and drilled in! Brilliant finish by Marcos Sanesi, who hammers it in with his right foot after the header broke down on the six-yard line and Sanesi drills the Cherries back into the game. They now trail by two to one. Well, that makes everything different, that'll change everything the manager's thinking in terms of do I need to make any more changes, great set play, smooth and a great finish. Tom Kearney for Fulham here, we're back to Fulham 2, Bournemouth 1 after that fine finish from Senesi, lofted in towards the back post, around the back is Mundi, who's completely unseen, and Fulham are two goals in front again. And Bournemouth having started the second half so brightly, given themselves a foothold in the game, have given Rodrigo Muniz the freedom of Hammersmith and Fulham.